try drawing a perfect circle or shoot an arrow at a target and get a bullseye every time. Impossible? Well, there's a reason for that. Let's back things up. When God created man and woman, he had such sweet fellowship with them. He created man and woman in his image, in his likeness. And just like his entire creation, he said it was good. Now, God didn't want a robotic relationship with humanity. Love is not love if it's forced or programmed, so he gave them free will. They had choices and variety, and God allowed a choice for them to love him back or disobey. They could eat from any tree in the Garden of Eden except one specific tree, the tree of knowledge of good and evil. God told them about it, warned them about it, and let them know that if they ate from it, they would die. Yet one day, as the serpent, Satan, the devil, tricked and deceived Eve about God's warning, she ate it and gave it to her husband who was with her, and he ate it as well. Their choice to disobey God indeed brought death. They didn't die physically immediately, but death came in every aspect. For example, farming would require harder labor. Childbirth would be painful. The relationship between humans would involve conflict. It would bring inner turmoil with guilt and shame. There would be spiritual separation between them and God. No matter what they did, it could not fix the sin that now permeated everything. Like trying to draw that perfect circle or hitting the bullseye on the target, they would fail and miss over and over and over. It would be passed on to their children and they would sin as well for generation after generation, including you and me. All have sinned. Sin isn't just in those who kill, even the smallest lie is evidence of sin. Because of sin, we are eternally separated from God because He is perfect and we are not. But that's not the end of the story. How do you explain all the evil that happens in the world? And how have you sinned?